DNA replication is the process by which template DNA strands are used to create daughter strands. This 3D animation will illustrate a simplification of the separation of the template strands and creation of new daughter strands. The key event in the initiation of DNA replication is the binding of the enzyme helicase at the origin of replication. As helicase moves, it unwinds and separates a portion of DNA. This action separates the leading and lagging strand. Once DNA has been separated, single-strand binding proteins stabilize the single-stranded DNA templates. Before complementary nucleotides form a new strand, a primer must be added. The enzyme primase adds an RNA primer at the origin of replication. A DNA polymerase enzyme adds DNA nucleotides to this RNA primer. Here is a closer view of this process within DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase aids in the process of adding complementary nucleotides to the template strand. First, hydrogen bonds form between complementary bases. Next, DNA polymerase facilitates the bonding between the phosphates and deoxyribose sugars, connecting the nucleotides on the new strand. DNA polymerase can only join nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. On the leading strand, the DNA polymerase continues to move towards helicase. On the lagging strand, this process must occur in small 5' prime to 3' prime segments as more lagging template is exposed. This representation of lagging strand synthesis has been simplified for clarity. Again, primase must lay a primer before DNA polymerase can continue the growing strand. These segments are called Okasaki fragments. On both new strands, a nucleotide replacement enzyme replaces primer with the correct DNA nucleotides. While the DNA polymerase continues along the leading strand uninterrupted, gaps are created on the lagging strand between each Okazaki fragment. DNA ligase seals the gaps and connects the fragments into a continuous strand. Helicase continues to unwind the original DNA strands. Both strands are replicated at the same time. The leading strand replicates continuously toward the replication fork, while the lagging strand replicates in fragments away from the replication fork. This process continues in multiple locations until the entire chromosome is replicated.